J.S. On Air now. It is a chemical used to harden plastic, bisphenol A. The Journal Sentinel looked into how common this chemical is in our everyday products. We're joined now by investigative journalist Meg Kissinger. Meg, I, I almost don't want to ask this, but any surprises? A few surprises, yeah. It's, um, it's we, we found some levels that I think are going to worry some folks, especially parents of young kids, because um, while this chemical is just now being looked at uh, by regulators in a, in a very serious, hard way, the focus is really on infants and children. You mentioned it, it being looked at. Now, I know a study just came out recently where, where uh, they looked at the impact that bisphenol A has on reproduction. W what are some of the specific concerns about this stuff? Well, uh, reproductive failures is a big one. Uh, breast cancer actually is uh, among the biggest worries. Um, there have been a number of studies that have shown changes in the mammary glands that are indications of you know, early signs of breast cancer um, or you know, the, uh, the uh, vulnerability to lead to breast cancer, I should say. And, um, and obesity, diabetes, um, there are two studies that are recently out connecting this to heart disease that was uh, published in, in the Journal of American Medical Association and then another study uh, showing that it interferes with chemotherapy for breast cancer patients. Meg, when we first heard about this chemical, we were told, you know, to check baby bottles, check mm -hmm. our water bottles, right. and um, you know, sippy cups, things like that. What kind of common everyday items did you look at? So we tested 10 items, uh, a baby bottle, uh, infant formula, uh, containers that people would be uh, likely to microwave their, their food in, uh, and, and then also some microwavable or products marked as microwave safe, um, lasagna, chili, mac and cheese, um, stuff that a typical you know, American family on the go with little kids would likely to be heating. And this stuff was in all of it? It was in all of it. Man. Well, that is Meg Kissinger with the journal Sentinel. You can look for her byline just about every day, and you can read more about bisphenol A at jsonline.com. We have a link on our website, todaystmj4.com.